Real Estate Agents. Welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with Joey Sampaga, my co-host. How's it going, Joey? I'm doing fine. I am excited about this episode. This is a great one. The Real Estate Marketing Maniacs are here. Oh, yeah. And we've got a great guest. Yes, here we go. <laughs> Tiffany Sharapata with Papa Lock Locksmiths of Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. This is going to be a lot, not, not necessarily just... How we uh, how we break into somebody's home, but no, yeah. I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> but this is going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of. There's a lot of energy in this room uh, right now. Um, everybody seems to be a black belt at something, so <laughs> I'm sure that will come up a little bit later. But why don't you share with us what exactly Papa Lock Locksmith of Phoenix does? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we are a family-owned locksmith company, and we're also a franchise, so we cover all of Maricopa County. And uh, what makes us different, we do a lot of philanthropy. We work out with a lot of veterans, um, you know, when they're transitioning from civil or military life to civilian life, there's a lot okay. of challenges they face, so we do that. Um, we have a Pal Saves Kids program where we unlock the car door if any child or pet is locked in the vehicle. We rush to you, treat it as an emergency, and unlock that car door for free. Yeah, and, that, and, and Phoenix is, yeah. you were saying Phoenix is one of the, uh, I guess, worst places yeah it's for, ranked, ranked I mean, number four unfortunately for yeah. childhood uh, fatalities in a car d- due to heat stroke so we're looking to really do a big push and yeah. to turn that around saved 15,000 children last year wow mm-hmm. really 15,000 yes That's amazing mm-hmm. so if someone as an example so if someone saw uh, a child in a, a seat or a child in the in the car locked in mm-hmm. what's the process I mean how yeah. How do they get a hold of you guys so quick and get you out there? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first, we always recommend calling 911 because that's number yeah. one. Uh, get that police out there. But if uh, a lot of times we actually um, beat the police out there just because they're so uh, uh, understaffed, unfortunately. And so we get out there and uh, they call us second and we get out there and unlock that car door for free. Wow. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. that's great. That's a great service. Yeah, thank you. Now, you have one of the most successful pop and lock franchises, don't yes, you? Yes, we do. Yeah. Absolutely. Out of. Out of Quite a few. Uh, yep, between 120, 150 of them. Yep, wow. absolutely. They're one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. And so tell us how this how this would work for real estate. So most of the the listeners or people that are watching this are in real estate. Mm-hmm. So give us a little example of how your program um, would help with realtors mm-hmm. with their clients. Absolutely. Well, we are extremely. Um, heavy on our customer service and we're relationship based and so are realtors so we very much understand the mindset of a realtor and uh, we we we're very connected in that world in the sense of understanding how much a realtor juggles you know they're entrepreneurs like the rest of us they wear lots of hats and uh, one of their biggest challenges is time and um, also getting referrals. That's, of course, that's what the whole game is all about, right? right? So, sure. so we really, I, I spoke to literally probably 50 to 100 realtors asking, you know, how, how can we help you? And one of the things we came up with was our realtor discount program. Um, normally a rekey would cost about $175, but we do that for $99 for our realtors, up to four locks. And um, because of, uh, you know, as a thank you to for yeah. repeated business, basically. But the Realtor program itself, um, we actually created a, a real simple landing page. It's called popalockrealtors.com. Okay. And what it just takes two steps to join the membership, if you will. It's, it's free to join. But uh, once you join, all you have to do is go to that landing page and fill out a real quick, uh, a real quick online form. And the entire Reiki process, it, it happens automatically from that point on. So it, your whole, a lot of realtors will purchase that as a closing gift. And so they'll go online, fill out that form, and they have literally their entire beautiful closing gift uh, yeah. finished within a minute. And uh, everything is automatic. We contact the client and do the scheduling for them, and the realtor does not need to be there. You know, we handle that. And our whole goal is to make the realtor look like a rock star. You know, their yeah. their security is number one. You know, with families, and if if there's a realtor uh, giving the closing gift that has heart behind it, you know, with um, really caring about the security of a family, uh, we really play on that when we're in front of that client of theirs, and really, um, you know, just wow, your realtor cares so much about you and your and the security of your family that um, you know they're they purchased this as as your gift and we we go above and beyond with that 
No, that's a mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. that's a great option. Yeah. What do you think about that? I no, think I think cool. I think it's awesome, and you know, I like the uh, program that you guys do, the uh, home security audit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. So part of you know when you if a realtor were to buy the rekey, one of the things we do is also give a home security audit, and it's as at no cost to the realtor, but mm-hmm. it is lumped in with the gift. So the client is feeling like, wow, this is quite a robust gift. You're rekeying my home, but you're also educating me. And so what we do is we we go in. Um, it's not a sales pitch it's not an in your face hey you know let me show you all the things that we can do to upsell you it's not about that it's really about educating their client on where the vulnerabilities are in their home and we've studied in the mind of a burglar we Mm -hmm. know exactly how they case homes um and it i mean just a simple fact is they are way more deterred by a be aware of dog sign than a security sticker in your home really Uh, yeah very very much so so those are the things we educate them on for my little yeah yeah Yeah. (laughs) that's right you need to so but we just a couple examples of what we educate them on is you know um, burglars can literally push in on a garage door and take a little coat hanger and reach in and pull the disengagement cord and have full access to your home Hmm. Um, very quickly within 10 seconds we've done it to be able to prove to ourselves that that's an actual issue in the community and it is and that's why the Um, realtor and the homeowner don't need to be there you guys can just get it no yeah yeah right we just (laughs) let ourselves in and rekey the home (laughs) no No, that was a joke no of course of course but um, and then you know like a sliding glass door if the screws aren't tightened down they somebody can literally just lift that door right outside the tra- right out of the track and get right into your house. So it's just a whole bunch of things that we go through and just help the homeowner feel very taken care of. And it's again, it's coming from the realtor, and so they're feeling like, you know, that that they're treated bit very specially. So it's it's pretty cool. Do you throw in some of your black belt moves? <laughs> you know what? I have trained our team <laughs> on a couple of little simple things to educate realtors on, but also educate uh, the customer and the client on, uh, because that's just that's really important if somebody does happen to get into your home which our whole goal is to avoid that and prevent that but uh, if somebody does or you find somebody on the street it's really good I, ha- I was attacked once and I, I, I was in martial arts for two weeks mm. and uh, I learned three moves and I used two of the three moves and they saved my life. Wow. So absolutely. So it doesn't take very much to help prevent a, uh, an attack. Mm. Or so, help. so what do you hold your black belt in? Uh, I have a second degree black belt in Taekwondo, more mm-hmm. the kicking and punching self-defense. And then um, my other second degree black belt is in combat Hapkido, which is more street smart self-defense, gun and knife defense. You know, if somebody physically puts their hands on you, how to, you know, quickly get the person off of you so you can run and get out of there. Nice. Hey, Jeff, mm-hmm. why don't you throw yeah. a punch at her real quick? Yeah, go ahead. It's okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> video. No big deal. Oh, she blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> She's too much for my my black belt in sofa reclining. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> or Krav Maga, either way. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring up Don't the forget crop. about that. <laughs> Bring up the crop. Oh, how much fun is that? I know. We may have to, uh, it'd be fun to do a class. We Actually, in September is Realtor Awareness Month, mm-hmm. right? Safety so Month. W- mm-hmm. Safety mm-hmm. Month. So we can probably get all the three of us together and actually throw a class on uh, how to be aware mm-hmm. and do some self-defense self defense? Defense techniques, yeah, right? Absolutely. How to throw that. Joey across yeah, the room. Yeah, that's that right. Oh, Come join us. Easy. <laughs> Entertain. Oh, yeah, he's lost all that weight. Yeah, totally. Oh, I love that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, I'm in on that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Any other uh, um, examples or reasons why it's important to rekey? Yeah, absolutely. Because I, mean, I think that's a big thing. I, yeah. When somebody buys an existing home, right, that's probably going through their mind. Uh, mm-hmm. How many copies of this key really are out that's there? That's exactly right? right. Yeah. Um, so I personally would want mine rekeyed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's an important thing. Yeah. Well, just a quick story on that. They, We had um, a couple, A lot. sometimes we'll get called after the fact, after a problem's already happened, but we got called out and a couple had bought a new house, moved all their belongings in, and then they stayed at their old house just to clean for the evening. And they showed up the next day and they had twenty to $30,000 worth of stuff missing or broken. Oh boy. And uh, the worst part is that the insurance company didn't want to cover it because it was considered unforced entry because they didn't take that step to... Hmm you know to j- rekey the home so it was it was very unfortunate and then their security is at risk i mean th- then they're in their brand new home it's supposed to be a happy time and they're the first first night they stay there it's mm-hmm. heartbreak so um so just a simple and it, they caught the person it was a pet sitter 
yeah wow. it, it was the pet sitter and wow. so it's not like you know the three of us it's not like we're sitting around looking for opportunities to break into people's houses our brains don't work like that and so but people unfortunately when somebody they see a for sale sign they'll start casing that house and look for that little one to two day window in there maybe months maybe mm-hmm. years i mean some people never rekey the home so it's extremely important to rekey that home just as a as an initial form of security yeah mm-hmm. wow okay yeah and you also do a lot of the marketing, and I know that you have a marketing mind. So, do you want to share anything with the agents that are listening? Um, you know about how they, you know, should be doing some of their marketing or their marketing mindset or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, absolutely. I know you brought that up earlier. So yeah. Oh, know. absolutely. I love that topic. Uh, I'm a huge Tony Robbins fan and just personal development kind of fanatic in itself. So yes. I, yes. 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 <laughs> that's right. Yeah, say yes. That's exactly right. <laughs> I love that. So I went to his business mastery course in Las Vegas a few years ago, and one of the things he said is it's it's about the success of a business is based on 80% of the psychology of the business owner, and we're all business owners, right, with the uh, um, realtors and, yeah. and what you guys are doing. And so, um, so I do a lot of personal development work to really f- figure that out. And so one of the, I'll offer up a book, but it's called The Big Leap. And one of the um, one of the big concepts in it is finding out your own zone of genius. Mm. So there's four levels of zones of incompetence, competence, excellence, and your zone of genius. So a lot of us spend a lot of time in our zone of excellence, where you're walking around doing really well. Maybe you get paid really well for what you do, but there you still kind of have to force yourself through it. And it's not really opening that door in such a huge way that you can just expand your financial capabilities and everything else. And so your zone of genius is basically if you had ten tasks in front of you and two of them you would just absolutely go after it's the ones that light you up and and ignite your passion and you just would fly through those tasks no problem and do really well at them and then you look at these other tasks and it's a little bit more against your grain and you're like oh I procrastinate on that because that's not my favorite thing to do and we all have those as entrepreneurs because we wear 50 hats each right so um, so really taking that step back and understanding what you're really really good at and then be resourceful with how you outsource the rest because whatever you outsource source if you can really shine at what you're good at and have support otherwise around the things that you're not as good at or you don't love as much Um, and then if you're a realtor with a team you know really identifying who in your team is good at what and let not expecting the same thing out of everybody really like really identifying what what they each excel at and then get offer support financial support or whatever other support you can to have them shine it's it's amazing what can happen okay Mm -hmm. yeah the team concept seems to be a growing trend right now uh, in real estate for sure Uh, as you have buyer specialists as you have showing Mm specialists as you have listing special and then you have the rainmaker and you have the lead gen side Um, I think too many agents really feel like they can do it themselves right right and the issue is they go to school to learn how to do real estate they don't go to the real estate school to learn how to actually market or run a business. Exactly. Um, so I think it's great that you bring that up. Yeah, absolutely. What was the book it call, called it, again? It's called The Big Leap. The Big Leap. Yeah, I just can't right. say enough about outsourcing, you know, things like, like, well, what you guys do, marketing, you know, things like that when people just aren't proficient at it or something else. It's it's extremely I important. I outsource uh, landscaping. Yep, there you no. go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's too hot to be out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, All right, so before we jump into the final questions or get in the ring, if agents want to reach out to you or, or where can they go to, to see what you guys are all about? Sure. Well, our um, our actual website is popalocklocksmithandsecurity.com. It's kind of long, I know. And then the actual landing page just for the realtors is popalockrealtors.com. Okay. And then our phone number is 602-274-1432. And we're always available 24-7, 365. Okay. Popalock Realtors. With an mm-hmm, S? Okay. With an S. And no hyphens? Or no hyphens. Okay, good. And if they mistake for Pop Lock Realtor, that redirects to the same place, too. <laughs> okay, good. Covered my ground. Smart got them both. That's there right. There we go. All right. Well, are you ready to get in the ring? Oh, I am. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What's the best advice anyone's ever given you? You know, I really believe in the power of proximity. Somebody told me just who the people you surround yourself with is who you become. So really choosing your peers wisely and also um, really if somebody's done something that you you want to accomplish ask them you know success yeah. leaves clues i would say so um just ask them how they did it and then just mod- you know modify it for yourself right and, mm-hmm. and a lot of times successful people want to share it because they like to yeah they're proud of it yes exactly. absolutely yep. exactly yep. how about your favorite mobile app 
My favorite mobile app, just coming from the security side of things, is called Emerge 911. Emerge. And yeah, and basically, you know, if a realtor is in a house with somebody and they d- they can't pick up the phone and call 911 because something's off, you know, um, you can literally open up the app, click the 911 button, and it GPS locates you right where you're at. And then are also any contacts you put in. So mine goes to my two parents and my husband, oh. and it sends them a text message saying Tiffany's in trouble at this address. Nice. And so the police will show up, and you don't have to. Um, you know, you don't have to, you know, be on the phone talking, basically. So it's wow, pretty it's pretty okay. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Can you see it already? The police show up and yeah. the two guys are on the floor. <laughs> Tiffany's already knocked them out. Yeah. Uh, here they are. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just subduing. Yeah. C- civilian arrest, that's right. And you already mentioned the book. Mm-hmm. So that was going to be my next Oh, yeah, the big leap. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how about one productivity tool or software that you use on a regular yeah, basis? Yeah, you know, I love, um, for, as a task manager, I love Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I just love that. And you can build a team. It's very intuitive. Um, you know, hu- some huge companies, like I, I believe it's Coca-Cola. I, don't quote me on that, but they use it, even big companies. But for my team, you know, we have our employees, and it's just one nice little n- little area for everybody to uh, be able to go in and see what's going on. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. One last question. All right. Out of the hat. All right. This is beautiful. What <laughs> is that, velvet? I guess it's a mask. <laughs> All right. No. So the question is, what did you want to be growing up? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, thinking about that, I wanted to save lives, and I wasn't sure what that meant. I, I ended up going the pre-med route for quite a while. I wanted to be a heart surgeon. Mm, okay. From the time I was little, I was obsessed with physiology. And um, so I went through and, and went to med school, and then I actually ended up pulling out of that and doing a – it was pre-med, I'm sorry, but I wanted to uh, do something different. I, I wasn't sure what it was yet, but I still wanted to have a big effect on lives. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. I guess you're doing that now, right? I am. Saving lives. That's right. Helping people with security. That's right. Awesome. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Any last things? Either one of you want to share? We're good? No, I'm good. That was some great information right there. Well, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are doing fantastic things in the community. Really, really fantastic. We're trying to have some fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. have fun doing it. Of course. (laughs) Love it. Realtors, again, can go to Mm papalockrealtors.com. Awesome. Well, this is Jeff Underwood along with Joey Sampaga. Real Estate Marketing Maniacs signing off. Have a great day. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's so funny. Good job. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Good you guys job. Are great. The Weekly Closer Podcast is sponsored by Jake Krabby, NMLS number 877141 at Academy Mortgage. Are you looking to buy or refinance a home? Jake Krabby is your mortgage professional. Contact Jake at 480-442-9291. Jake Krabby is a loan officer at Academy Mortgage, NMLS number 877141. State license for Arizona number 09-20357. AZBK number 09-04081 and New Mexico number 877141. Academy Mortgage Corporation, NMLS 3113 and New Mexico 01451. Call 480-442-9291. Address 15333 North Pima Road, Suite 205, Scottsdale, Arizona 85260. Academy Mortgage is an equal housing...